all this unfolded just after midnight in Round Rock it happened outside a home on Oak Meadow Drive in the Cimarron neighborhood. Our Kylie McGivern joins us live from the scene in Round Rock with the very latest. Good afternoon. Hi, Kate. Yes, we are just off of Oak Meadow Drive and really for the last 10 and a half hours, police officers, the sheriff's department, FBI, SWAT team, they have swarmed this neighborhood just trying to find any clues to piece together more about what they believe to be two suspects who fatally shot Sergeant Hutchinson. Now, let me break down what we do know at this time. What you're going to be looking at is some video from the early morning hours right around 1.30 in the morning. Now, it was around 1 o'clock that Sergeant Hutchinson got off of his Shift. About 20 minutes later, dispatch received radio communication saying that he had what he called prowlers in his backyard. So that is when Round Rock Police, they dispatched calling people in for backup. And that is when they found Sergeant Hutchinson near a creek in his backyard with a gunshot wound. And he was pronounced dead at Round Rock Hospital. We spoke with a neighbor who says he heard a loud bang and initially thought it was someone hitting his fence. So I came out. I put my dog out and he was growling and snarling, so I came out and checked everything. And next thing I know, the whole place started lighting up. Helicopters came, police were shouting and screaming, and, uh, and uh, found out our neighbor had been shot. And again, this is very much an active situation right now, and police are going around encouraging anyone with information to come forward. We spoke with a neighbor earlier who said around 7 o'clock he got a knock on his door, just trying to piece together any information they can. So if you do have any information that may be able to help police, you're encouraged to call 512-671-2267. Excuse me, that's 2767. And we're going to be out here following the latest developments and bring you any new information as soon as it comes forward. But for now, now, reporting live in Round Rock, Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. Kylie, thanks so much. And parts of I-35 slowed down today as Sergeant Hutchinson's body was moved from the hospital to the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office in downtown Austin. Law enforcement officers gave each other hugs as the body was taken inside. And Sergeant Hutchinson served for more than three decades in the Travis County Sheriff's Office. He joined the department back in 1984. Early on, he showed the ropes to the new patrol deputies, who is now the Travis County Sheriff Greg Hamilton. Sheriff Hamilton was at a news conference, uh, or was at a conference rather, near Dallas when he got the call overnight that one of his dearest friends had been killed. This guy was a big teddy bear and uh, everybody loved him. Uh, I think he was about 6'4", he weighed about 275, but he was a gentle bear. Well, Hutchinson went on to become a detective and earned a reputation for solving robbery cases, leading to him being promoted to sergeant. Our John Dapkovich will have much more on Sergeant Hutchinson coming up on KXAN News tonight at 5 o'clock. Late this morning, we learned a municipal court judge from Lakeway is offering his own money to find the killer. Judge Kevin Madison says he was sickened when he heard about the shooting. Madison used to be a Travis County Sheriff's deputy back in the early 1980s. We are offering $5,000 of our own money to go towards a pot. We want to see everyone get together. Let's get some money raised because somebody's going to know who the suspect or suspects are uh, and they need to turn them in.